Newcastle could be in line for funding from the federal government to help rejuvenate the CBD. But federal MPs say it's too early to say whether that would include removing the rail line to get GPT's major development through. They weren't pulling the rail line up in Newcastle today, instead undertaking maintenance work, maybe to ensure the embattled stretch of track can sustain the latest attack on its existence. Renowned architectural columnist Elizabeth Farrelly is another person on board the plan to stop the train at Wickham. She says an inner city transport hub would better connect the CBD with the beach and harbour. And now that Newcastle's you know, focus on industry is changing, it seems to me that that's probably a good moment to do what's been talked about for so many decades. Federal Charlton MP Greg Combe chaired a meeting with GPT, Newcastle MP Sharon Grierson and Anthony Albanese this week to discuss whether the project would come under the umbrella of the government's new major cities unit. He says government shouldn't be choosing where the track stops. Ultimately, uh, you know, the views of the community about it all I think will be the decisive factor. GPT will come out of a trading halt on Monday and Sharon Grierson wants to make sure the company is honest with the community if it's in financial strife. That they do uh, make sure that's known uh, and that they don't try to use uh, planning or lack of planning or lack of infrastructure as an excuse and I'm not at all suggesting that that is the case. Penny Evans, NBN News.